Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So in this video I am going to do a couple of things. The main thing is that it is my Colouring Gold 2024 tag. So I thought I would do this um, video because it was an open tag by the um, lovely My Colourful Country Life, um, Karen, and I watched her video and really enjoyed it. Um, so I thought I'd do this tag and also um, this tag was originally, um, I think, originally started by Jazzy Doodle Designs. So I shall link that information before she is the creator of this tag. So well done for coming up with this brilliant tag. I am quite late to it because obviously this is now February 2024 but... I was stuck for a few video ideas and I thought this sounds quite good to do and I also thought that I would um, sort of show you how I am going to use these Crayola super tips which I don't generally use these sort of mediums, the water base markers. I only use my fine liners to add embellishments but then um, someone mentioned when I did the flip video of this book they mentioned that um, Tombow markers work really well in this book and then used with a water brush pen. So I do I only have a few Tombow brush pens. Um, so I thought I'll use these Crayolas, Crayola super tip markers and see how they work. And they work fairly good. So I thought I'd just share using that technique just in case you guys want to see what it looks like. Um, the paper is definitely um suited to this um because you will see it works quite well now i have done i have started this page as you can see all of the tree and the roots of the tree are done with the crayola super tips and a water brush pen the rest of it has been done with one of my favorite albert dura watercolor pencils by faber castell um, and yeah, that's it's a big double page, but I just thought I would demo using these super tips and then also do the tag if I can because Karen got through the tag questions quite quickly. So I thought if I do this as well, then you know it's a couple of things that you might be interested in. So again, thank you to um, Karen at My Colourful Country Life for giving the open tag, uh, which I've taken advantage of, and also to Jazzy Doodle Designs. I will link those channels below. So let's have a quick look. Let's get closer. So I'm gonna work on the sky, and um, we'll see how this comes out. It's gonna be quite bright, because um, I think I need a bit of tissue, actually. I'm just gonna grab myself a tissue. Um, so then I can pat dry. I am using this water brush pen. The well is my favourite. Is the fine tip one um, with the big push button barrel. So yeah, I do quite like that. So let's have a look. Um, so I have numbered these, but I couldn't actually find. Um, I you. I bought these many years ago and have used them on and off here and there, but not really used them a lot. But I think I'll be using them a lot in this book. So let's start with a bit of paper on the back. And then we'll get with the questions in a moment, but let's just try this out first. So I'm going to have a bit of the darker sky. I am planning on using quite a lot of different mediums on this double page. I mean, they are so bright. This might come out really awful, but you know, if you don't try, you don't discover new things so you know it's always worth doing I'm just gonna do a little bit of the dark color there and then 
this is my second colour. They don't obviously have names on them, do they? So, right, this is just an experiment, guys. Honestly, I have. I mean, the only thing I've done is the these roots here, and you can see it's such a vivid colour. But I just put in the colours in places because I know I want to spread and merge the colours together. But I am so enjoying, I mean, thank you so much to that per, to the person who um, commented and told me about using the Tombow markers with a water brush pen, because I wouldn't have thought that this paper could take it, but actually, it certainly can take it. So, um, it's really fun using different mediums and just, of course I will always use pencils as well, but because these are faster mediums it just gets the job done much quicker and it's fun as well. So, right, let's go with some other colours. Right then, should we start with the questions and go bit by bit? So I'm, go I'm going, I'm just putting in my colours, all the different shades. Um, this is a lighter shade now. I'm going to put that around here and then go with the lightest, maybe near the bottom. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. We'll just see what happens. Right, so my first question, do you have strict colouring goals for 2024 20, or more loosey goosey? Well... I don't really have any strict colouring goals, no. My, my life's too busy to um, do that, unfortunately. Um, when I'm retired, if I ever get to that stage, um, then, of course, I will um, have a lot more plans. But, yeah, not really any strict colouring goals. The only thing is that I want to do... I want to be a bit more laid back with things... Um, and not be hesitant with starting a colouring page because that's what annoys me a bit about myself is that sometimes I'm very hesitant with starting a page and I really shouldn't be. Um, like this double page, um, I don't want to think about or oh, shall I do it, shall I not do it and then need to get it started and you know whatever it turns out like it turns out like and you know it's a learning process isn't it it's a learning curve because one of the things that stops me is I'm going back to the dark color now one of the things that stops me sometimes is being afraid of once I've done it I'm not going to be happy with the um, outcome and that puts me off but I need to not worry about things like that and just do my best really so yeah okay so that's the only real thing I don't want to I don't want to um, be too hesitant with starting a page and also not be put off by double pages, you know. If I want to do a page, it shouldn't matter whether it's a double page or it's going to take me longer um, because, you know, that's quite irrelevant, really. Um, if you like the page, just get it started. It doesn't matter if I don't get it done by the end of the month. Um, I'll just show the whip and I'll carry it on. So, yeah. So, now the light is coloured. So, that's really the only thing. And then, number two, how many pages do you want to colour this year? Um, I never have an idea in my head about the number of pages that I want to colour. Um, I colour as many as I possibly can get through. So, you know, that's that's all. My average is about 
eight now because if you don't count, I mean, I count the double pages as a single page anyway, so I only count that as one coloured page, a double page. So, however many I can get done, that's great. Eight is fairly good considering that the pages I generally colour are quite detailed. So, yeah, so that's that one. Um, I'll colour as many as I get done. All right, now I am going to use my water brush pen. So I hope this isn't too much of a mess, but let's see. Cool. on the tissue there right um number three what coloring medium would you like to learn or improve um definitely watercolor i've got a lot to learn in the realms of watercolor um and i'm really enjoying using watercolor mediums so when i say watercolor i do mean that um watercolor Paints, pencils, um, uh, I guess this as well, you know, the water-based markers and using them like in this way. So you can see it moves up very nicely on this paper and not all paper will be suitable for this method watercolour paper would be, I presume. But yeah, so I would say watercolour paints, pencils, um, that sort of stuff. And then number four, what technique would you most like to improve? I think that's linked to question three. So I would say watercolour, definitely. Um, but I guess... Other colouring techniques would be things like um, how to make glass look like glass. Um, coloured pencils as well, because with coloured pencil, I'm getting better and better. And I just want to sort of improve on that as, as much as I possibly can. Um, I need to, when that's dry, I think I'll go back and you know, improve that. So yeah, colouring technique would be left a bit out here. So let's colouring pencils, coloured pencil, sorry, and I would say watercolour, watercolour pencils as well. Laying a bit too much water out, but yeah. So, number five, what spending collecting goals do you have? I am finding this a little bit challenging, guys. I have to say, you know, trying to do this at the same time because this is a new technique to me, um, and also trying to answer questions. So, bear with me with my ums, ums and ahs. Um, okay, so number five, what spending collecting goals do you have? My spending goals are to spend minimum. Um, because I do have quite a lot of the things that, um, that are colouring related or art related. The things that I've wanted, I already have quite a lot of the things. So I'm quite fortunate in that. Um, I just want to buy less and use more and I think I'm doing that so I'm quite happy with with how that's going so far this year so you know buying a house costs a lot of money and is very very expensive so um, you know I need to focus on the things I want in terms of the house and 
therefore if there is something that's out there that I really want I will buy it and I do a lot of extra work as well not just my regular day job of teaching but then I will during the times of the years I will do you know exam marking and things like that to try to earn extra money so that I can buy the things that I do want and um, you know so <clears throat> fortunately if I do want something I should be able to buy it but there isn't really anything that I massively want I the things I buy are usually replacements for the things that are run out for the things I've already purchased and if I do find good prices I like to get backups of pencils as well be it um, so there is no bleed through which is really good um, so yeah that's that's basically I want a low spend collecting um, do I collect things well I collect colouring books but like I said um, I'm quite fussy now about which colouring books I get because I own most of the colouring books that I enjoy so um, I'm fine with just using them okay so that's how it's sort of come out which I'm quite happy with I will let that dry and then I will use my Albert Dura watercolour pencils to make the blend a bit better so for example here can you see that it's the blend could be better between the dark blue and the lighter blue so I will um, use my Albert Dura pencils for that then um, I do want to introduce some other shades as well which are these into the mix here so I don't know how I'm going to do that but let's um, let's add in some dark blue here at least but at least you've got to see how I used it but yeah in combination with pencil I'll probably use the Albert Jura mostly dry but to get the better blend I will I will use I, I will activate some with water Okay, so um, six. So really, I don't really have any collecting goals, but like I said, for spending, I will, I'm will. i hoping to, you know, have low spend. I never say no spend because that's just not realistic for me. Um, but yeah, if there is something I like, I will buy it. Uh, number six, what book do you most look forward to working in this year? Um, there is a book called by Nina Stagner, which I've been after for many years, but it was out of print. I saw it on Colouring Kids channel um, many years ago, and I was I, I was in love with the pictures. They are so cute, it's ridiculous. And um, I looked everywhere for that book, but I couldn't buy it. And then I gave up because you know if it's not oops sorry if it's not available it's not available um and then recently i found that it was available i can't even remember how i found out but i did it's on amazon uk it is an amazon printed book but i don't care and i just bought it because it's so beautiful and i've been after it for so long and that book I am most looking forward one of the ones that I'm most looking forward to working in most definitely and what I've been doing is I've been scanning the pages in so that I can print it on better paper and I've used watercolour then so you know that's fab that's one of the books the other books that I'm really looking forward to always working in is my Japanese colouring books. Um, really looking forward to working in those. Any um, detail colouring books I'm looking forward to working in as well because I love working in detailed colouring books. Um, my MIFA graphics, they're some detailed colouring books. I'm looking forward to working in those as well. And of course we know that Joseph Katimbang and Fabiana Atanasio are the ones that generally had the earlier mythographic books, but there are some other artists. I think Veronica Kolinska and some other ones as well, and their work is really stunning, so I'm looking forward to working in those. Um, but, yeah, those are the 
books I'm really really looking forward to working in um, this year what creative goals do you have do you have do you do a live hashtag of videos buddy colors um I really don't know how to do lives I'll need to learn how to do lives because when I move into my new house I should have a dedicated room for um, filming and all my stuff um, all my colouring and art stuff so um, maybe I might do lives never say never I'm quite nervous about that but first I need to learn how you would actually go about doing it because I don't have a clue and how to do it so yeah um, but buddy colours I would love to continue with them I already do them anybody who wants to buddy colour with me I'm always willing to do it and you know it's always fun to do that um, hashtags I don't really take part in but maybe I should that could be another area which I haven't thought about much but I could actually get into doing more of so I'm going to introduce some other colours now I think as well into this guy so we'll see how that goes um, number eight what new to you artists will you what new to you artists will you be adding this year so new to me artist well yeah some of the mythographic um, newer artists I'm hoping to get their books I've already got the Crystal Kingdom which I, I think if I'm not wrong I hope I'm not wrong but do correct me if I am um, is by a new artist Veronica Kalinska and then any other ones I presume um, Nina Stagin I've already mentioned um, she's a new to me artist um, but yeah I what is this? Is this oh this is part of the sky I think in between the bag handle. So yeah, I will um I can't remember. Oh I've got Gabby Wolf. She's obviously she's not really that new to me as an artist because I've got pretty much all of her books and I've I've you know so she's not counted in that. But yeah, the new mythographic artists um Nina Stachner and yeah any artists work that I like I'll I'll just be purchasing number nine do you have a book you would like to complete this year well I could imagine coloring all of Nina Stachner's um pages in her coloring book I don't ever say that I'm going to complete a coloring book because it never happens really and it's too much of a you know, um, a commitment, um, and I know that it's a big feat to do that, and I love my variety in colouring in different books, so I do not think um, there is a book that I would like to complete, but I will, Nina Stagion is the only one, but I don't think I will complete it, but I'll probably do a lot of pages from it. Number 10, what is the best benefit of colouring to you? The best benefit is to be part of the colouring community, um, to do something that I really, really enjoy. Um, it's For me, it's not just the process of being creative and thinking what shall I use on my pages, it's also the finished product. Um, when I really love the finished product, it's really satisfying really really satisfying to actually um you know color because to me the finished product is definitely of a great importance um and to be part of a coloring community where we can share ideas and you know there's so many youtubers that i enjoy watching that i really um love their ideas that they come up with that I can use and that they can use ideas that I come up with and I really like that being able to share in a community with like-minded people 
because if we didn't have the internet that would be you know a lot it would be much more boring but it's just so nice to know that other people are into the same thing as I am and enjoy it as much as I do and then you know you can talk to them about it so that's a really big plus and of course like I said the process as well as the final product of of doing the actual colouring and the completed page um, those are the two biggest things for me um, that that I that I get the benefit from with colouring and to de-stress from of course you know to de-stress from work it's just really enjoyable and that's it that's that's my um, 10 questions so I hope you found this useful like showing you this because I wanted to share this technique with you as well it's a little bit that's not done here that's not maybe it's activated so what I would suggest regarding these um, water-based markers and using them with a water brush is try it out at the back of the book that you want to use like I tried it out at the back here and it worked really I tried it out on the cat's tail and it worked really well and I thought this paper can definitely you can definitely blend the uh, water-based markers on this paper so I would test it out and then if it works Go ahead and do it because I'm telling you now it is so much fun you will enjoy it and then once you've done this you, you've seen how I've how I've um, done it then after it after applying your Crayola markers to get a better blend I will use watercolor pencils um, to make the blend a bit better I mean it's not seamless as seamless as I want it but I still like it I think it's so vivid um, because obviously markers are vivid aren't they and um, I think it'll look really nice but anyway that's that's me so yeah hopefully I'll get this done by the end of February and you can see it but if I can't then you'll see the whip at least in my colouring bag and I will finish it in March so I would like to thank again um, Wendy and Jazzy Doodle Designs and Karen from my Colourful Country Life um, for this tag and um yeah i hope you enjoyed watching until next time guys take care happy coloring bye